happy monday people so for today's video i actually have no makeup on my face because i thought i'd do some makeup stuff so some of the products i'm using today are a mixture of what i normally use this i have pharmacy cc cream i really like this I also have concealer, a must. I'm enjoying this Revlon Candid one. It's cheap and it actually does the job. So let's just concentrate on, oh, and the primer. This is actually by Unique, it's called Touch Glorious. So that's the first thing we're putting on my face. This one is hydrating. So, you know, primer just blurs everything all your imperfections so a little goes a long way i just use the tiny pea size and just make sure it's on my face now i have some problem areas that i am very self-conscious about so the fact that i'm doing this video is a big deal if you see it up <laughs> it means I, I was brave so my problem areas are my sunspots i don't know if you can see i have here here and here so and under eye circles. So what I do is I put some here, some here, some here. I do this. And of course you do this um, after the primer. That's how I do it. And then I'm also gonna use the CC cream. So a little goes a long way. So I just dot on where I'm gonna put it on. Just dot it. And then I'm gonna take my brush. Usually I use a beauty blender, but today I'm going to use a powder concealer brush by Unique. I don't know if you can see that there. It says Unique. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you it, well, it shows up backwards. So just blending everything I got with the brush. Make sure it's nice and blended, get there. The nice thing about this blush, this brush, <laughs> is that it has this end so I can go in there for my dark circles. Now I am, I just got my eyebrows. Um, I, I don't like getting my eyebrows wet with concealer because my eyebrows are very dark and then it just looks stupid. So I'll go in there later and make sure. But that's what I'm doing now. Just blending everything in with my powder concealer brush by Unique. See that? And we're gonna see how that looks in a few minutes there come in here with my brush just to get the the product out of my eyebrows all right it's hot in here so my concealer my primer and my foundation oops make sure that didn't get dirty my concealer my primer and foundation are done now, you can still see under eye circles, but that's okay. I mainly did an okay job in covering my sunspots. All right, let that sit for a little bit. Now, I thought I'd use bronzer, my unique um, beachfront bronzer Malibu shade. I like this shade a lot. Go in there. And for this, I just go in there and basically put it all over my face, concentrating in my cheekbones, my forehead, a little bit here. Let's see, got a little um, fiber from the brush on me. That means I need a new brush. Got actually a couple of um, fibers. This brush is from Morph, and I got it from Beauty Box. All right. 
All right, so that's done. My powder. And what I like to do is put a little bit of Bobbi Brown Long Wear Sheer Shadow Cream and Ombre right under my eyes to pop them, which I'm doing now. Hold on. And I, ha I still have something in my eye. Use a tweezer for that. Right. So just I put a little bit under. Now I need some clear, some neutral eyeshadow. I, I'm I'm not really into eyeshadow, but I do like to put a little bit. It's like um, let me show you. It's, this is by Rainforest of the, this is by, sorry, Tarte. And it's called Rainforest of the Sea, volume three. And it just has a lot of beautiful, like neutral shades. I like this one and it's that one right there. It's just very neutral. I like to put that on, on. just, you know. There you go. I don't know if you can see, but just a little pop of color. Now next is my lip liner. And for that, I'm using Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. I like using this. It just gives me a nice pop. And sometimes I line my whole lips and then I go in there with another lipstick. So I'm going to do that now. Go in there, hold on. And there, that's a nice shade. But this is not the color I'm going to stick with. I just fill it in just to give me a nice pop of color. Um, I don't know if I said the color. It's, um, the name of the color is Run the World, number 80, Run the World. So I, use, I mainly use this one, and I also use this one. And the color of this one is Lead the Way, number 15. But today I use Run the World. Put that back. Now, now I have to decide what lipstick I wanna use. And I really like this one. This one is Shiseido, Shiseido, I think I'm saying it wrong. Shiseido, and the it's number 203 and it's called Night Rose. And I really like this lipstick. So I'm going to go in there. There you go. I just, it's just a pretty shade. All right, so that's done. Then I go in and I put on a pressed powder to set it. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury. And the name of this is Airbrush Flawless Finish, number two medium. I love this. It just sets your makeup. And for that, I use this brush. This is a very simple brush. And it's Luxie number 515 and just what i'm doing here is just taking a little blowing out the axis and just dabbing a little bit goes a long way as well but this is gonna leave you a nice finish you know and then i just do that now it's time for 
my mascara. And I don't know if you remember, but I am loving the Unique Epic Twisted Mascara. I am really loving this mascara. It has two wands. It has a small wand, which I'll show you right there. This one I use to really get in there after I do my first coat. I'll show you that. See the brush? So I just wanna make sure I don't have a lot of excess of it, but here we go. So I'm gonna start with this side. And I'm doing this, I, I need the mirror, so excuse me while I do this. Wanna get in there. And again, I think I said this in my last video, I have very skimpy lashes, like I have no lashes at all. And I think it's because I, I have Hashimoto disease. And before that, my lashes were skimpy, but I feel like after I got diagnosed, my lashes suck. So let's see. I really like this mascara. So this is right after versus none. Now I'm going to go in there with the little wand. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the price of this mascara last time. It is $27. And with Unique, it's nice if you have a rep that sells it. I I have some one local that sells it. And she's great. So her name's Marla, and I love her. She's she she's just so good at at selling, and she's always she's just really cool. So anyway, I'm gonna go in there with this. There you have it, wow, versus no. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Um, the left eye is a little bit harder for me to do. Just stab that, and here we go. Here we go. All right. I think I'm doing it right. I, I don't like when it clumps. But so far, it's it's going smooth. I like the brush. Now I'm going to go in with the little brush. This mascara is so cool that it has this two. It's like having two mascaras in one. Love it. All right. It, it's okay, it clumped a little. I go in there. Oh, and this is also by Unique that I use. Lash Comb Brow Brush. So I like to go in there with the little and just fix it. All right. All right. I'm hungry, guys. All right. So, whoa. So, all right. So, those are my mascara. And one final thing I love to use. I don't even think they sell this anymore. It's basically glitter in a little bottle. And what I like to do is take one of my brushes and just sprinkle some glitter right above the eyebrow. And a little bit of goes a long way. All right, and take my 
makeup my hair i'll have to blow dry it but all right so that is a quick um look that i it's an everyday look i don't like to put a lot of makeup on it might have seemed like a lot of makeup but there you have it um Sometimes I like to go back and work on my under eye circles and just dab a little bit. And, you know, also what I like to do is comb my eyebrow hairs. Where did that brow, that brow thing go? Right here. Make sure they're okay. And there you have it. That's like a quick look with a couple products. So again, the products I used were the Pharmacy CC Cream. This is if you don't want a lot of product. It's a it's supposed to be like a light color correcting, um, you know, a CC cream, which is not like as thick as a foundation. I like it because it helps me with my sunspots and all. So this is great. Um, I also used Candid Revlon Concealer. I always had issues with under eye circles. So this mainly helps. I also sometimes use a concealer stick, which I'll show you next time. I also used a primer before the CC cream. This one is hydrating. Touch Glorious Primer by Unique. So it just sort of blurs out your imperfections. And then I also used the um, Unique Beachfront Malibu um, Bronzer. I love this product. Um, just gives you a nice glow. And for the lipstick, I lined my lips with Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline, like this a lot. And then I went in and um, colored the lipstick, my lips with Shishido and it's Night Rose. This is a gel lipstick, which I love. It's a very nice shade. And there you have it. Oh, and don't forget the setting powder I used was by Charlotte Tilbury. I love it. It's just a nice, you know, it gives you a nice glow. It gives you a nice shade. I mean, um, it's a nice shade for me. Make sure you pick the right one. And then for my eyes, I use Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte. Just put a little bit there just to pop the eyes. Oh, and let's not forget my Bobbi Brown Golden Pink or um, ombre cream stick that I just put under the eyes. So I think that was all the products. Um, that's my final look.